When I'm looking on the offensive side of the ball, underrated, it's weird to say it about a guy who was a top 15 pick, but Laramie Tunsil, yeah. the tackle for the Miami Dolphins, to me, he's the most underrated player on the offensive side of the ball in the NFL. I think he's the best young left tackle that we have in the league. Talk about premier athleticism. Can you kick out? Can you cover up those speed rushers? But then are you strong and stout enough to be able to hold up against power? I think he checks those boxes. And then when you look at what he can do in the run game, he can move people at the line of scrimmage, yet he's athletic enough to get up and work at the second level. Uh, I thought he was it was it was it was criminal that he did not make the Pro Bowl last year. I thought he played at a very high level. Well, I mean, probably their best offensive player. Am I right? I mean, on that Dolphins team absolutely, right now? Absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, that's not a bad thing to have if you're left tackle. Uh, you know, we talk about the organizational pieces. you got to have one of those guys out there uh, left tackle protecting your quarterback. And as we were going through this exercise, DJ, as I was kind of looking through and trying to figure <laughs> out who I wanted to be uh, my, my underrated player on offense, I kept coming back to the offensive linemen because, as I mentioned at the top here, we talk about the quarterbacks so much, it's hard to say any of them are really underrated. Um, so <laughs> I'm going to go with another left tackle, but I'm going to go to Seattle in Dwayne Brown. Because I think if you look at if you go back to that trade a couple of years ago and you look at how those two franchises have kind of gone in different directions on their offensive line, the Texans, boy, it's been a struggle here the last couple of years to find five guys out there that have really worked. Whereas as Dwayne Brown has come in for the Seahawks, kind of stabilized a group that had been in flux Absolutely. for a couple of years. And this is a team that was number one in rushing again last year. So they're getting back to the things that made them successful. And I think Dwayne Brown uh, was a big part of that. Yeah, I'm a big believer in what he does and what he does for that offense. You mentioned it. They want to ground and pound, and that's yeah. something he does extremely <laughs> well. When we flip over to the defensive side of the ball, I was tempted. I almost went J.J. Watt. Even as great as what? he is and all the awards he's gotten, I just I just spent some time studying, and I was like, this guy might be underrated. He's that good. Uh, but I'm not going to do J.J. Okay. Watt. I'm going to go another defensive lineman, DeForest Buckner uh, from the San Francisco 49ers. There's been so much talk, and rightfully so. I believe the 49ers got the best player in the draft and Nick Bosa. What he's going to benefit from wow. is playing yeah. next to DeForest Buckner because Buckner can do so many things. You can rush him off the edge. He can do all the speed power stuff off the edge. He can slide inside, rush over a guard, do anything you want to do there. 12 sacks last year, and I felt <laughs> like it kind of went under the radar. Like nobody really talked about this guy. He's freakish in terms of his athleticism, his size. Think about Calais Campbell and what he was in his prime. Right. Uh, that's where DeForest Buckner is right now. Uh, I love that. And look, I, as a draft nerd, you know, myself, I'm just kind of – I want to see four top ten picks with their hand in the dirt at one point for the 49ers. You know what I mean? Like, that's just that, that interesting. They're heading there. Yeah, they're, they're getting, close. getting pretty close there. Uh, all right, so for my defensive player, I went up to New England uh, because I feel like they are perennially underrated uh, individually. The, the unit gets a lot of love, usually towards the end of the season once they figure things out. I almost went Dante Hightower here but I'm going to go with Devin McCourty. Almost went Hightower because if he doesn't make the tackle on Marshawn Lynch before the Russell Wilson interception, that ball game's over anyway, and they don't have uh, another Super Bowl. But McCourty has been the stabilizing force back there for that defense. He's the one guy that Bill Belichick has chosen to pay and has chosen to keep. Um, Hightower's another one of those. But that says something. Yeah, you know what I mean? And, and he's, you know, Hightower's missed some time with injury while McCourty has just always been available. And I feel like, you know, if he if he steps away, then that is a huge loss for this Patriots team. So therefore, I believe he is one of the most underrated guys. Doesn't get a ton of the numbers in terms of interceptions, but I don't think it's I don't think you can quantify what he does uh, well in terms of stats. So uh, give me Devin McCourty as my underrated guy. Click here to subscribe to the NFL YouTube channel, and and click here to subscribe to the Move the Sticks podcast.